what's going on everybody? Top 10 Pokemon back and today we are going over yet again another top Pokemon card auctions of the week recap. Now folks, I really tried to whittle down uh, the truly significant auctions for us to cover. I don't want to keep going over the same auctions over and over even though some of them are pretty interesting and uh, pretty high value. I don't want the series to get stale, so I always try to bring the newest stuff to the table, some cards we've never seen before. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, please consider being a subscriber. We are so, so close to 20,000 subs. Please give the video a like, and please consider using my eBay affiliate link below to support the channel if you enjoy auctions of the week, and I know that you do. Please consider doing that. So, as always, a ton of awesome auctions. We've got some cards from Lost Origins. We're going to go over the astounding sales, the truly mind-blowing sales of the Moonbryon VMAX in both its English and Japanese forms. Some crazy numbers that card is hitting. Uh, a couple of insane Japanese promos, sealed product. We got it all here, folks. Stay tuned. Let's get started with today's video, starting with the Pikachu VMAX. Trainer Gallery card from Lost Origins. We saw two sales of this card, one for $226, the other one for $222. The Alternate Art Aerodactyl V sold this week for $480, and the Giratina Alternate Art card, not doing too bad as well, selling this week for $730 as a PSA 10. Here I have a lot of the Mewtwo cards from the Pokemon Go set. Let's check them out. Here's a PSA 10 Mewtwo V Black Star promo that you got from the Elite Trainer box. Sold this week for $41. Here's the Rainbow Rare Mewtwo V-Star that sold for $93. And the Gold Mewtwo V-Star that sold for $130 this week. And let's not forget the Alternate Art Mewtwo V. Easily the best card in this set. Sold this week for $154. All right, folks, check out this awesome lot of Latios and Latios GX cards. All five cards, PSA 10, sold in this lot for $1,125. And I think whoever bought this lot, if you are watching this video, let me know in the comments. I'm interested. I think you got yourself a spectacular deal because this alt art uh, Latios, Latios GX card from Team Upset alone is like $900, sometimes more. So uh, yeah, you get all five of these cards for a little over $1,100. That's a pretty awesome deal, if I do say so myself. All right, now on to this phenomenon known as the Moonbryon VMAX from Evolving Skies. This card just seemingly knows no limits when it comes to value. It just keeps going up and up and up. This week we saw two PSA 10 examples of this card. Wow. One sold for $1,175, the other one sold for $1,225. Now mind you folks, this card has a ton uh, in the PSA 10 population report. And then we saw this BGS 10 pristine copy of this card sell for $1,475. And of course the Japanese variant of this card is still doing extremely well, selling this week as a PSA 10 for $2,125 another sale for $2,200. And then here we saw a BGS 10 black label Eveltal. I believe this is from the Shining Fates set, uh, sold for $520 this week. You see these amazing rares come by as PSA 10s like crazy. They're like water, you know, they just constantly flow through, but you rarely see a black label amazing rare card come through. So I wanted to make sure to cover that. Just a couple of XY era cards I found interesting. Here's a full art Lugia EX from Lost Origins, sold this week for $630, while this Mega Rayquaza EX, also from Ancient Origins, sold for $640. Here is a lineup of PSA 10 Call of Legends Crosshatch play cards. Never really seen these before, but this Complete Energy Collection sold for $3,400 this week. An interesting Pikachu sale, this is from EX Legend Maker set, this is a Pikachu Hollow that sold for $576 this week. Now on to the vintage portion of the video, starting out with some unlimited Watsy Hollows in this unlimited Scyther Hollow from Jungle set, sold as a PSA 10 for $430. Here is an unlimited Rockets Zapdos Hollow that sold for $301. And the unlimited Rockets Moltres, the Flaming Chicken himself, sold this week for $372. I've always felt that these unlimited Watsy Hollows in PSA 10 were very underrated. I continue to believe so. Uh, these are pretty decent prices to get your hands on these cards, and they're fairly low population cards as well. On to some first edition cards. Here's a Rockets Scyther Hollow from Jim Hero set. 
that sold for $2,105 this week. Here's a first edition Dark Houndoom Hollow from Neo Destiny that sold for $720. Uh, here we have a Togepi and Togetic first edition from Neo Genesis, both PSA 10s, sold for $836. And then here we have a first edition Shining Steelix from Neo Destiny that sold for $1,525. On to some interesting base set sales. Here is a first edition Shadowed Machamp. We haven't seen one of these come by for a little while in auction. This week one sold for $1,325. Here's a first edition Zapdos from base set, sold for $5,049. And then here is a first edition Red Cheeks Pikachu from base set, that sold for $5,200. It's crazy that a common card can outdo a first edition PSA 10 holo from base set. Uh, yeah, this Pikachu card is definitely a banger. Up next are a couple of interesting Japanese promos. Here is a Japanese uh, McDonald's Squirtle holographic promo. Sold for $625, while this Charmander, also the McDonald's promo, uh, sold for $440. Here is a Japanese Charizard CD promo. We've seen this a million times before. Uh, this card, it seems like no matter how many PSA 10 copies come about, it always sells for around this price. This week, one sold for $677. We had a few Japanese promo Tropical Tidal Wave cards come by in PSA 10. This one sold for $876. Uh, this is a 2006 promo that sold for $1,225. Here is a 2005 Tropical Tidal Wave promo that sold for $1,337. And then lastly, here is a 2010 World's Championship Japanese promo that sold for $4,738. Now here are two cards I haven't seen before. This is an embossed uh, Dragonite promo, Kairiu, I think that's how you say it. Uh, this promo in PSA 10 sold for $631. And then here is a Charizard embossed promo. Well, actually, it's a Lizardon promo card that sold for $1,580 this week. And before we get to our sealed product, here is an autographed Japanese base set Gyarados. Uh, this is an authentic card. It was The card itself wasn't graded, uh, but the autograph got a 10. This is, of course, autographed by Mitsuhiro Arita. And like the subtitle says, this is a rare gem with no personalization. We don't want anybody's name on the card. Uh, it's just got a nice little sketch of Gyarados with the signature. That's what you want, right? This card sold for $1,725. All right, on to some sealed product. Here is a black and white base set box sold for $1,358. We saw several unlimited Watsi boxes come by. Here's an unlimited Fossil box, sold for $6,900. An unlimited Team Rocket Booster box sold for $7,212, while the unlimited Gym Heroes box sold for $6,200. And then we had an unlimited Neo Revelation Booster box sell for $12,502. On to this week's PWCC Weekly Auction Recap. We've seen a lot more substance this week than we have in the past couple weeks. Here from Heart Gold Soul Silver, here's a Ryko promo card. This is a pop one of three card that sold for $1,860. Here's a Dark Dragonite First Edition Hollow from Team Rocket Set, sold for $2,010, while the Light Arcanine from Neo Destiny sold for $3,120. Here's the reverse holographic Venusaur from Legendary Collection in PSA 10 that sold for $3,240. Uh, we had a Lugia EX from Unseen Forces sell for $3,720. And then here we saw a lineup of Gold Star cards, but this is where it's interesting. These three right here are CGC 10 Pristine Gold Star cards. Uh, we have the Entei Gold Star that sold for $1,830. The Raikou Gold Star that sold for $1,710, and the Suicune Gold Star, also a CGC 10, sold for $1,650. Here is a PSA 10 Gold Star Celebi that sold for $3,480, while this Gold Star Mudkip from EX Team Rocket Returns sold for $7,800 this week. A couple of the legendary beasts in Raikou First Edition from Neo Revelation set in PSA 10 sold for $8,400 while the Entei also sold as a PSA 10 for $8,400. Here is a first edition holographic Snorlax from Jungle Set, got the PSA 10 and sold for $9,300. And then we saw a PSA 10 first edition base set Stoys come by and it sold for $38,400. And then here in the monthly premiere auction of PWCC, this is a PSA 10 no rarity symbol Japanese base set Mewtwo. Pop one of nine card, sold for $15,600. In the auction of the week, I'm gonna have to get to this Gold Star Rayquaza 
that's got a bit of an older label on it, sold as a PSA 10 for $34,200. Now at its height, this card was selling back about two years ago for $45,100. So, so this is still a pretty valuable card though, selling at a whopping $34,000 this week. Thank you so much for watching, folks. I really, really appreciate your support. I hope you enjoyed this week's auction recap. Give the video a like if you did. That's all I got for you, folks. I'm going to be putting out some videos this week, so stay tuned for those, and I will see you then.